Well, hello there. This is the B2, and we're going to talk a little bit today about Applied Energistics 2 and why that's important to your modded Minecraft experience. Now, this looks familiar, right? Rows on rows of chests, and you're trying to locate where is that thing, I'm a bob. I was, oh man, the anxiety level, I can't find what I'm looking for. Whew, that's exhausting. So, we're going to talk about Applied Energistics 2 and how it's going to make our lives easier. So, let's just pretend that we have our power source already hooked up. Uh, whether it's a wind turbine, it could be a coal generator, whatever. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hook up some power here. Now, if you notice that the power is 0 out of 20,480 in both, right? So, as we set this down and we turn this to orange, boom, it's going to fill up full of energy. It's like magic. So just make sure when you're doing this that, um, especially with thermal expansion, blue is always in, orange is always out. You can drive yourself absolutely insane uh, trying to run power sometimes. And uh, we all have been at that point where we started my modded Minecraft and uh, and have had a setting wrong and it drives you insane for hours, right? So um, the first item you'll need is called this Emmy controller, and ooh, isn't that nice? Look, look at those colors. Uh, you'll know it's working when it's flashing like this. Now, um, I'm not going to go into uh, channels and and what each one of these controllers does, just for the sake of, of that's going to be in the next episode. And we'll talk about the controller systems and dense cables and all those fun things that you're going to get into. But let's just start with the basics for now. You'll need a controller. And I'm not going to go through the recipes for it. I really think that everybody in the world uses NEI now. And so, uh, you know, we're not going to need to, to know all about, uh, all about this stuff. So you'll need a controller. You'll need an ME drive. You'll need some sort of cable, and you can just use a basic glass cable, the Fluix one. And you'll need an ME terminal, and that is all you will need. Not all you'll need. You'll need a 1K drive, too. And this works just like the just drive the disk drive on your computer, right? So the more storage you want, the more disk drives you put in, the more storage cells. It just goes through. And you'll notice that there's 65 out of 1024 and 7 out of 63. I've gone ahead and put some items in the ME system here and you'll see how 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 registers the same as 7 there. So it's 7 out of 63 unique types. If I was to go back in and add one of these guys, the red smart cable, It'd go in now it would be 8 out of 63 types and 74 is just the actual total number so if you had a thousand and twenty four cobblestone in here it would say 1024 out of 1024 1 out of 63 so it's pretty simple and then we could take things back out of here you see already how this is going to be extremely valuable to you uh, and having applied energistics too so the cool thing is and I'll show you that is if you want to smash this guy off of here and you wanted to put a red cable here and then throw this back up. Whoa! Now the terminal's red. And you can see if we did blue, how it's going to be what color? You guessed it, blue. So you can really make your ME system look kind of cool by using the different cables, too. Very simple intro to Applied Energistics 2. I hope that's made it simple enough. Uh, you can get rid of going, oh, where is my item at? Oh, no. Where is it? Where is it? I can't believe that I lost my... Oh, down to here, which is just in there. Now, you can also sort by number of items and as you toggle the items down you can sort it by what mod they are inside of here um, if it has any tweaks to it sort by the item name but I usually use mine on the number of items and you can always search in here too right so if I wanted to do cable I could just do CAB and the cable runs up this has been Applied Energistics 2 I'm the B2 have a great day